Welcome to the second lesson of the online course, Investing in Regenerative Agriculture and Food. How to put your money to work in regenerating soils and ecosystems at scale and growing a lot of tasty food while doing it. Today we look into what is regenerative agriculture. Probably the question I get most when I'm talking to people, what is actually regenerative agriculture and food? Don't worry, we're going to not go too fast. We're going to scratch the surface. I'm going to give you a few... Um, mental frameworks to think about this and I hope this helps and then at the end I will give you a number of articles to read, a number of websites, a number of books to, to really dive deeper into this. So I will put that all in the slides of this, uh, the, this presentation will turn into a slide and you can download it and find all the links also below. Very important, this is not financial advice, it's not investment advice, seek financial advice before making any investment. Now let's get to the content of this lesson. What is regenerative agriculture? A lot of people ask me, can you give me a definition? What is it? What is it not? And that's very, very difficult. But let's first look at a definition I found online. Regenerative agriculture is a system of farming principles and practices that increases biodiversity, enriches soils, improves watersheds, and enhances ecosystem services. So if you look at this, in short, if you had to really boil it down to the essence, Regenerative agriculture is building soils. That's it. That's the first question I always ask to farmers. It's the first question I ask to investors, to ag tech companies, to food companies. Like, are you directly or indirectly helping to build soil? Because at the end of the day, it's nature building soils and we're helping it. We're managing, we're nudging, we're facilitating. And now let's get to the problem of the definition. As regenerative agriculture is not a thing, it's not a zero or one. You cannot you're either not regenerative or you are, it's very difficult, probably nearly impossible or impossible to find a definition because the definition means it's very clear what is and what is not. Like with certified organic, you're either certified or you're not. It's much easier to, there's a whole description in the article of a friend of mine, Ethan Solovyev, that I've used a lot for this lesson that I will link below, why a definition doesn't make sense in regenerative agriculture. It's much more helpful to look at it from a continuum perspective. On one side, it's very de degenerative, extractive, um, and slowly, if you move more in this case to the green side, it's getting more regenerative. Ethan did a great job, or does a great job in his article to look at the different parts of the agriculture system and shows how they can be degenerative or regenerative. So have a, we'll have a look at it, the next slide is very, very full. I know that, and I will go into a few more details, but I invite you definitely after this lesson to have a look at the article and let me know what you think and let Eden know what you think. So here you see the different parts of agriculture from the characteristics, the inputs, and the practices. And they can all range from very degenerative on the left to very regenerative, the green side. So let's have a look at the three parts. First up, the characteristics. Looking at economic sustainability, it's very clear that, um, and one of the reasons we're recording the podcast, that regenerative agriculture can be profitable, can be investable, and can uh, generate not only all the nice other impacts we want to have, but also a financial return. Then it looks at diversity, resilience, crops and products, and it's it's clear that in all agriculture systems or many agriculture systems, you can be either you can be very degenerative, but you can also be very regenerative. Then look at inputs. Where, for example, does, where does the input that a farm uses come from? Is it international, national, regional, local, or on the farm? Where does the fertility come from? And here we can already see some of the um, confusion that starts with organic. Certified organic could use a lot of manure or from plants, could use manure that comes internationally, for instance. So it could be partly, it could be perfectly certified organic, but absolutely not regenerative could be plowing, which is something we'll see in the, the next uh, slide. So it really is important to take a holistic view of all the inputs, the practices and the characteristics of a farm to see how far along they are in, on the regenerative journey. They will never be done. If you talk to very experienced regenerative farmers, they will tell you that they're never done. They discover every year that they can go more complex, they can go more chaotic, they can go deeper and deeper and deeper. And these are the practices I mentioned. In this case, let's look at tillage. If you're very high tillage, it's very difficult to be regenerative. If you're low tillage, you could be. 
depending on the systems you use, disease management. If you're spraying a lot of chemical pesticides, very difficult to be regenerative. If you're using biological pesticides, you're on your way, but nobody would argue that uh, you're fully regenerative or you are very much advanced. If you're using an ecosystem approach, you, you're getting there. And if you look at uh, guiding frameworks, obviously you can look at carbon farming, agroforestry, organic, diversified. I mean, there's so many different parts, I, but I think this continuum really helps you. And I would really, um, I've seen somebody actually using this um, who sent it to an agriculture company that uh, he was interested in investing and asked the company to rate themselves. So where are they on, on these lines? Which I think is a, is a great way to use this tool. And I would invite you, obviously, um, credit Ethan for creating this and let him know because he's always happy to, to hear. And then just to finish off the whole definition versus what is regenerative agriculture discussion, Daniel made a very nice comment once and he said where organic really prouded itself on we are free of, we are free of chemical inputs, we are free of chemical fertilizer, et cetera, et cetera. In regenerative agriculture, we're all in. All the nutrients, um, all the, the fertil fertilization, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope this helps. If you want to dig deeper, read the article, Ethan, obviously. If you want to dig, ve dig very deep, um, go to the No Regrets Initiative, uh, which is an initiative of Sally Calhoun and Esther Park, who we've had on the podcast a number of times. They created an amazing website full of resources. You can just scratch the surface there, or you can go really deep in soil health, in the philosophy of regeneration, regeneration business models, et cetera, et cetera. You can really lose a few weeks here, I think, in terms of, in terms of reading and follow-up, but it's absolutely amazing. If you want to read some books, I always recommend Growing a Revolution, David Montgomery, who was on the show. You can find his interview here or end, actually, because both of them are great. Kiss the Ground, the book. Also follow the, the community, but definitely also read the book. And most importantly, honestly, visit the farm. Go and visit local farmers that are building soil. How do you find out? Ask the question, are you building soil? And if they completely lit up and start sharing about the cover crops they use, a rotation, et cetera, et cetera, you, you have a very interesting uh, conversation, I think. So ask them and the team about their management, the soils, and ask questions and listen. There's no better way to learn more about regenerative agriculture than to listen. So thank you for joining this lesson on what is regenerative agriculture. I really invite your feedback. Yes, please send it through the notes below, the comments below, find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Uh, find out more on our website, investinginregenerativeagriculture.com. And don't forget to think about, pay what you think this is worth. On the next episode, we look at why investing in regenerative agriculture. Thank you very much and see you at the next one.